the cell membrane is made of fats and proteins. That is the point of entry for a virus, um, for a foreign virus, a foreign strand of DNA RNA looking to take over your cell. Um, it has to get through that cell membrane. And then once inside, after it's already raped your nucleus and replicated itself, when all the virus babies, quote unquote, are ready to leave that cell now, um, they actually break, when they break apart your cell membrane so that they can be released, they actually do that by ripping it to pieces, so to speak, and, and creating a new protein coating for their program out of your cell membrane. Right, so you gotta remember your cell membrane is made up by the essential fatty acids you consume. So the oil has a very profound effect on being able to uh, take care of your body in these situations. Um, now I want you guys to go to my, go to my video, how the antioxidant system works. It'll really give you an idea of how to NRF2 system works and just provide you with some visuals. In fact, maybe I'll put the visuals up. Um, man, it's raining like crazy right now. Alright, um, but the liquid portion. The liquid portion is designed to terraform, right? Which is make your internal terrain inhabitable to these little nasty guys. Right, and it does that, well, a couple of different ways, but one way is by increasing the arginase, um, or the raw material for your body to form arginase. Arginase is the enzyme that breaks down the nitrogen-based compounds, particularly arginine in the body, um, which creates the environment for viruses to flourish in. Right, and then uh, obviously the herbal capsules, systemic metabolism, prop up the NRF2 system, and uh, some other, you know, key functions that I won't give to, to my parasites. Um, but, but I need you guys to understand this thing about viruses now. When you hear people say, or you hear scientists more, more importantly say, that you may have hundreds of millions or billions of cells in your body, but you have maybe 10 times that amount of microorganisms. A large portion of those microorganisms are what we would consider to be viruses, right? So everybody's tagging me on Young Boy's page or Usher's page and 50's page and all these people's pages like, Inky, you can help these people. I can't help those people if they don't want to be helped. They got to come to me. Um, that being said, what we have to understand is um, stop being arrogant in your ignorance. What do I mean by that? Two thirds of the global population, between two thirds and three fourths, right? That's between. 60%, right, or, or, or not 60, uh, what would we say, 66%, right, and 75% of the global population, if you run a blood, a fine blood test, they have herpes simplex 1. 40% of the population has herpes 2. 85% of the people that are carrying it have no idea. They've never had an outbreak, they've never had a symptom. They don't, their body, their immune system is running so strong that the virus is just dormant in their body, crystallized, unable, unable to become active. Now, if you connect with that person, you're slapping fire, you're smoking blunts, you're sharing drinks, you going down on them, they going down on you. Y'all sweating together, you in the gym, 
you pumping iron, sweating on the machine, they get right off. This your set, it's my set. Boop, boop, boop. You may be susceptible to something that they're not. And the stronger your immune system is, the more dangerous you can be around people with weak immune systems. And I think that's the real definition and fear that scientists have uh, without scaring people with uh, people that aren't vaccinated, right? Your body is so strong immune-wise because they haven't broken you with the aluminum and animal cells and all the crazy stuff that goes in these vaccines that you may be strong enough to carry some stuff that if you come around people, like the Charlie Brown thing, remember Pigpen? He always had a, a, like a field of stuff jumping off him because he was supposed to be filthy. Pigpen actually represented a very, very strong immune system. And he'll come around and stuff will jump off him and onto you and then you get sick, right? Um, so hopefully, I, I, I don't know, hopefully that gave you some good stuff. Um, Now, for my more scientific people, um, via these three methods, we put together um, a comp the, the compound in general has been clinically proven effective against uh, adenoviruses, right? Adenovirus. Uh, specifically three and seven. Does that mean you take it and then all of a sudden it's gone? No. Do you take a pharmaceutical drug and all of a sudden it's gone? Absolutely not. Um, but effective, which means that it provides some form of, of protection against the hemagglutinin, um, some form of protection against the neuromidase, um, viral replication, uh, viral gene expression, which is post-replication now um, those guys are trying to exit the cells and get out um, reduces viral RNA in infected cells right inhibits viral fusion with cells right because the virus again that cell membrane is the point of attack um, and sometimes viruses aren't just attacking a cell Sometimes viruses use white blood cells. This is why I'm telling you, white blood cells are not your buddy. Viruses get with white blood cells, whisper in their ear. I promise you, I kid you not. Science is, it's exciting. This is how I stay tuned, it's, it's exciting for me. They whisper in their ear like, it's like catching an Uber. They're, they're viruses are coming in your body, use white blood cells to Uber. Um, so, but they have to get to that cell membrane to be able to just, you know, hit them with that free, you know, vibe out, so to speak, like we do. You know what I'm saying? Like people have to be one-on-one, -on -one, up close and personal to vibe out, right? Um, so they do that, whether they're gonna use the cell as a vehicle to get to the cells it wants to replicate in, or whether, it, and that, think about how a virus is able to do that. It's because it senses the magnetic field, so it'll use a cell to travel to um, like like due north, so to speak. It's, mag it's a magnetic sense, right? Um, and it'll just find where the magnetics are right for its kind. And then obviously those cells, will, it'll be able to merge with that are in within that magnetic field it's looking for. Um, Protect cell membranes from virus cytokines, right? These are the things that viruses release to protect themselves, to attack cells, etc. Um, cytokines also come from your white blood cells, and this is what inflammation largely is, a cytokine shootout. Um, reduces expression of the viral matrix protein gene, right? So it reduces the ability of viruses to upload their information into your cell. Right, these are all of the various angles of attack um, on viruses that these herbs in the compounds in the liquid, the oil, and the capsules have been clinically proven to do. Right, and then we're going to go through the, the viruses that has been able to do some combination, one of these things, 
or a combination of these things uh, against. Right, so reduces expression of the viral matrix protein gene, interferes with viral entry via viral proteins, right, um, or viral protein coats, um, regulate host immunity, right, um, so that's giving you protection from the cytokines, um, up in your NRF2 system, etc. Lowering the cell membrane fluidity, which is a prerequisite for viruses to be able to slip into the cell, right? So there are locks, electromagnetic locks that we know of as pores or channels and gates all on the channel membrane. When you lower the fluid level, you actually, it's like you, you lock all the doors. That's the easiest way to put it. You just lock all the doors like in the Purge movie. They got the button and then the moment the Purge starts, they hit the button and all the doors and windows lock. Kind of the same concept. Um, it inhibits the viral release from infected cells, right? Inhibits viral cytokines being released from viruses. Increases apoptosis in infected cells, which is one of the major components of defense mechanism, which also loads up and floods your lymphatic system. So think about it. Increases apoptosis in infected cells. Well, if the cell's infected, that means that the virus is replicating in that cell. And when that cell dies or explodes, you're still releasing all of those proteins, A, the dead proteins from the cell, uh, but then B, all of the viral material out in the lymph lymphatic system has to clean it, the kidney has to clean that, um, and it's going to be dumped into your lymphatic system, which has to be flushed, right? Also promotes monoclonal antibodies. So, adenovirus 3 and 7, avian virus, uh, coliphage, coxsackie, um, cytomegalovirus, uh, Epstein-Barr virus, uh, hepatitis A, B, and C, the entire herpes family, HIV number one, uh, T cell leukemia virus, H1N1, H3N2, influenza A and B, the measles, vaccinia, rhinovirus, mosaic virus, tobacco mosaic virus, um, polio, porcine, SARS, Sendai, Vesicular, Stomatitis, um, Newcastle, and pretty much um, is very effective against bacteria as well. So um, again, all you gotta do is go to